hello guys today i'm going to show you how to use in these symbols in arcgs attribute table okay guys definition query like that so these symbols okay what are the symbols here showing i will going to show you how to use in attribute table okay guys now i am going to open the arc map so i have opened in arc map i am going to open the attribute table set the feature class then click right button open attribute table see here we have different fields is there different values is there so by using that symbols we are finding the definition queries values that things only we have to select okay so first i am going to open the select by location tables this one see what our symbol size so before this symbol see here available so now we are going to use this symbol so here i am going to show you this field so here it is there count field is there so in this field count have the different values is there with including null also see different value is there with including null so now i want to select some value so that time i am going to here first we have to select field name double click then first i am going to use is equal to is equal to click then get unique value whatever the values is there in this field it will show the all values here so i want to select only 10 value i want to see the 10 value only double click then click verify it will successfully then okay click op apply see here we can see the whatever the value is there 10 that value only it will select so you can see the here only selected value then click this one so selected records only see here when you click this one it, we can see the only selected records only we can see the in this table okay now we are going to see the this one you can select not only 10 you can select other values also select this one click this one you can see the 20 value also verify okay then apply you can see only that one we can like uh, definition query only want to see the some particular value then we can select the field then give the whatever the value you like then we can see the that value only now i am going to show you this symbol so i will remove then i will go to double click see when you click this one whatever value you can select then i go to select 30 double click then click verify it will success when you apply see here it will show the except 30 value it will not show except that uh, remaining values it will show here see here there is no 30 values i, I will see the uh, i will show sample also that one 30 is there not there right so i am going to remove then i will select here it is the 20 also i will select now 20 then click verify okay apply see now it is 20 it will not showing before 30 it not showing now it is showing 30 well because whatever the value we select the this symbol given value that value except remaining values it will show the this here okay guys now i am going to like like i will show the in last okay so now i am going to show you like uh, greater than symbol see this one is the greater than i will select then give the i will give the number greater than means i will give the 20 select then click verify successfully click apply see whatever the values after 20 the big value it will show the only that values only it will not show below 20 values it will not show because we have given greater than is equal to greater than is greater than 20 means it will show the more than 20 values only okay guys so see here we are seeing there is no 20 because after 20 it will start number only it will show big number so same thing i will go to so you greater than is equal to then i will give the number uh, this time i will going to give the number 30 
then verify click then apply in this time we can see the uh, 30 above values at the same time it will show the 30 value also because we called 30 value including 30 value also it will show 30 after that coming big value also see here 30 is there after that coming big values after means 31 like that like that we can use the greater than is equal to now i am going to show you count and and sorry first we'll select field then select is equal then give the whatever the select value select 13 then select and symbol and then this time we can see the at a time two fields and two different values so for example i will give the, the here number 10 then i was going to select here it is the fitting types means it will there in different subtype names i will select then i will go to is equal then i will select here so here is different names is there so i want to see the 10 value in this particular subtype name how many is there so i am going to select this one cap double click then verify it will successfully okay then apply see here 10 values also there here at a time fitting type is name is cap so in this cap 10 value count is there in 10 so if you want to see the total 10 i will go to here i will remove this one just apply see total 10 is there 12 so when you see the subtype fitting type different names is there so but i want to see the particular name subtype name and the same time value so that time we can use this definition query like this count field name then value and that is next field name next subtype name when you click apply then it will show 10 only 10 value only this particular subtype name cap like this we can use and next i am going to show you less than see when you click less than then i am going to select field give the name i am going to give the 20 then verify okay then apply see come to here see when you are using this one less than 20 it will show whatever the less than means 20 below values it will show the here in this one like here it is showing 13 10 only because here it is available only two values 13 and 10 10 it is the below 20 okay guys now if you want to see the uh, other one i am going to select this one 50 see what are the 50 below values it will show see below 50 values it's showing 10 and 13 20 30 40 these are the below 50 values okay guys so like this we can use now we are going to use less than is equal to see uh, the same time 40 i am using then click verify okay apply apply see this time this one also it will show the below values 40 below values at the same time it will show the 40 value also because equal to. equal to means the same number we have given 40 that including same number 40 also it will display like see here it is 40 number also there this two including that 40 also it will show below numbers i'll give other name number also uh, 650 i'll give then apply see below 650 value it will show here including 650 like this we can use less than r is equal to. okay guys so now we are going to use r see count not only this field we can use any field so for example i am showing this field only so we are going to use the r means first we have to select field name then is equal to, then select whatever value in this one r means we want to see the same field different values at a time and that time we can use r so i want to see that 
10 and 40 value then select field name is equal 20 then after r is next we have to select field again then is equal to next whatever value you want to see the both value at a time so i am going to select 10 see in this for uh, definition query we can see the both value i want to see then apply see here when you are apply the this one we can see the only this 20 and 10 values we can see the at a time two values in the same field okay guys this is the r by using r symbol okay now i am going to show is okay i will remove this one select is then select null then verify okay when you apply this one whatever the in this field have the null values null only it will show the null only see this total count is 41497 when you open the attribute table we ha i have already opened but i want to update some values here we can open you can select the sum of uh, fee, uh, values then apply you can give the numbers i'll give the double four select give then enter see when you click apply here see count will reduce because we have applied some values when you apply the values it will go it will uh, reduce the count because here we have given query definition query only we have given null value only we have we want to see okay guys like this we can use is and null so now i am going to in in means in this field i am going to use in then after that i will select this bracket and i will go i want to see this complete all here we can see uh, one more option before we have seen here uh, count is equal to r and that time we have seen same time two values here we can see the multiple values at a time by using in and the bracket also so i am going to give the 10 comma space 20 comma space uh, 40 comma space 650 so then verify and successfully click apply so when you are using like this this value only it will show the here in this record like 10 20 40 650 values only here it will show see 10 20 46 like this we can use in uh, in the bracket also not only values uh, we can use text also i am going to show you that one also okay guys uh, like this one fitting types different names also there subtype names i am going to this one double click then in then bracket uh, you can select get unique values so oh, i want to see the cap comma then after i want to see tap uh, t then i want to see these three names in the at a time then click verify then click ok apply see here whatever the value uh, given names that names only we we can see here see cap tap city other names it will not display because we have given names uh, uh, query like this only these names also so like this we can use the this all symbols okay guys we can this one most of things different uh, when you are uh, multiple is there that time we can use this uh, symbols like definition query like this when you remove this one then apply see you can see the all names here see before it is before we given definition query cap t and uh, tap that only it will showing now it is all it will showing or because we have remove the definition query like this we can use that symbols okay guys thank you thank you so much guys